Hello out there, all you story timers. Today, we'll be reading The Sweet Race by Gabriella Golkin. A story about a few happy but very noisy bookshelf trolls who love to race each other through the pages of their favourite bedtime stories. And without further ado, sit back and relax. Rest your head, your nose and your toes. Open your eyes and open your ears. Put on a smile and enjoy the show. What do you have on your bookshelf? Well, books, you would say. We do too, of course. My brother and I. Lots and lots of books. With big, bright pictures and wonderful stories. But that's not all. On our bookshelf, we also have trolls. Actual, real trolls who are happy, colourful and very noisy. They've made little homes for themselves inside the bookends. Grey lives in a tree house. Pinky lives in a pink house covered with flowers. Biggie lives in a big blue truck and Glitter Boy lives in a shiny rocket. During the day, our trolls stay inside their homes. Our trolls don't like the sunlight that much. Their favourite time of day is the night time. When our mum tucks my brother and me into our beds and picks a book from one of the bookshelves for our bedtime story, the trolls peek from inside their homes and get ready for an adventure. Pinky, Grey, Glitter Boy and Biggie love to race through the pages of the books as our mum flips through them. Once mum reads the name of the story, Pinky, Grey, Glitter Boy and Biggie prepare for a race. Mum opens the cover and they start the race. As mum turns the pages, the trolls jump from one page to another, from one picture to another, competing over who is going to finish the book first. Today, our mum is reading us Yum Yum, a chocolate story. Who doesn't like chocolate? My brother and I both love it. Our mum made us each a cup of hot cocoa and is reading us a magical story about a world where everything is made of sweets. And guess what? Pinky, Grey, Glitter Boy and Biggie love chocolate too. First, they rush on their skateboards through Marshmallow Canyon. Pinky on her green and pink skateboard and Grey on his blue and purple board are the fastest. How clever of Grey to use the bookmark to get ahead. Glitter Boy follows right behind them on his rainbow glitter board and Biggie is a little slow to catch up on his dark and light blue stripy one. They race from Marshmallow Canyon and into Sweet Forest, zigzagging through the candy canes. Then they splash splosh into Chocolate Fountain Lake. All covered with chocolate, Pinky, Grey and Glitter Boy climb out and continue the race. But Biggie doesn't seem to be able to swim out. Oh no! Biggie is drowning in chocolate and his skateboard is floating nearby. Glitter Boy to the rescue! He jumps off his board and reaches out to Biggie. Pinky and Grey stop too, right before crossing Maple Syrup River on the lollipop boats. Biggie grabs Glitter Boy's hand, but his hands are covered with chocolate and he keeps sliding back into Chocolate Fountain Lake. Finally, Glitter Boy manages to get Biggie out, but Biggie is way too tired to continue the race and he flops down on Jelly Bean's shore, licking chocolate off his fingers.
And so there are just three trolls left in the race. Pinky, Grey and Glitterboy race through Chewingum Field. Well, not race really, more like drag their skateboards through it, as Chewingum Field turns out to be quite sticky. They then race through Ice Cream River, really speeding through as the ice cream is so cold. Freezing, actually. And the river is, well, frozen and easy to slide on. Pinky, Grey and Glitterboy are staying shoulder to shoulder. But wait, Glitterboy seems to be overtaking his friends. Who will win the race? Mum is almost on the last page of the book. She is turning to the last page. It's Cotton Candy Field. It sparkles so bright, but it's so light to whiz through. As Mum reads the last sentence of the story, Pinky and Grey overtake Glitter Boy, and Pinky is the first one to jump onto the back cover of the book, just before Mum reads the end. Amazing! Popping Candy and Sherbet are blasted out of the cannons. Pinky gets the first prize, and Grey and Glitterboy come second and third. Biggie is dragging his skateboard behind him. His skateboard is dripping with chocolate. His pockets are full of jelly beans. Biggie climbs out of the book just as Mum closes the back cover. It's sweet sleep time in our house. My brother and I pull our blankets up to our chins. Mum gently closes the door to our bedroom. Our trolls climb into their beds in their comfy bookend homes. Bye bye till tomorrow night when it's time for another bedtime story. Hmm, I wonder if I have any bookshelf trolls like Pinky, Grey, Glitter Boy and Biggie hanging around my bookshelves racing each other through the pages of my favourite story times. I think I'll go take a look right now. Until next time my young story timers, this is Mr Whiskers saying meow and good night. Hello everyone, Mr Whiskers here. Enjoying our story times? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss a story. And tell your friends so they can join in the fun. Goodbye for meow. <laughs>